Golf video games are in the best place they have ever been. 2K Golf released their latest title in October 2022, and EA is making their return on March 24th, 2023. This will be the first time the two major sports developers have had a head-to-head -head battle for the PGA Tour and the best golf video game. Will either one come out the other end dominating as a premier golf game like the old Tiger Woods games? Let's break down the pros and cons of each and see who will end up prevailing. 2K wins the first to market and as a result is the beneficiary of the holiday sales to their numbers, but will it matter if EA has Augusta and releases right before the Masters in the heart of the golf season? Let's analyze the unique features that each has to offer. 2K's biggest draw at the moment is the course designer mode, something that EA will not have in their title. While this mode may not attract you personally, it can't be understated how vital this mode is to 2K's success thus far. It obviously attracts those that are interested in course design, which is a smaller fraction of the user base, but more importantly, it provides endless amounts of courses that are published for all users to play, vastly increases replayability. From fantasy to realistic, Kudos to all of the awesome course designers that continuously provide more content and create these stunning environments. So what does EA do to combat course designer? How about launching with a top tier list of 30 courses, including all majors and popular courses like Augusta National, Pebble Beach, St. Andrews, Sawgrass, Bandon Dunes, Chambers Bay, and many other big names that'll pique your interest and I anticipate this list will grow. Additionally, EA has dynamic course conditions, allowing for each course to be extremely unique. Not only will a ball bounce differently at St. Andrews than it will at Augusta, each course has its own flight physics based on elevation, wind, and other factors. The course list won't stop at 30 and they will continue to expand their list and also have intentions of adding the Ryder Cup gameplay into their timeline. To most watching this at this point, I would venture to guess that you are leaning towards EA at this point, and you probably want to play all of the premier course names and play in their advanced physics system. But what about one of the most important features in modern gaming? Crossplay. Yes, 2K has just recently released crossplay in combination with online ranked play. Crossplay and also having online society mode, which EA has not mentioned in their marketing to this point, will be a huge incentive for some to collaborate and challenge their friends. Although EA does not appear to have crossplay at launch, they will be an exclusive next gen game, and with that comes far superior graphics on their Frostbite engine. The visuals from the gameplay trailer alone look stunning, and from those that have had the opportunity to see the live gameplay, all say the course recreations are meticulously accurate. What about career mode? One focused amongst a lot of gamers is the offline solo play versus the CPU. Career mode will of course be in both titles. However, 2Ks is lackluster at best. It was not a major focus on 2Ks part. And if you are the gamer that loves to dive into the career mode, EA will have the better of the two for sure. Based on what we know in EA, you will work your way up from an amateur golfer into the PGA Tour, and of course, be able to compete at all four of the major championships, which are exclusive to EA. If you're more of an online ranked or multiplayer person, they will both have that option. 2K's online ranked is brand new and offers both single player and alt shot modes, and has provided a much needed competition side to the game. Additionally, 2K has the society mode, which attracts a lot of competitive gamers. And if you're looking to join one, check out the one that I co-host called Red Fast Review. Podcast every Monday, by the way. Self-promo aside, societies are a very niche audience. EA, on the other hand, has been known for their online competitive game modes across their other titles. And if that is any indication, it will likely be a large focus upon their release. As of this moment, we have no mention of ultimate team modes or microtransactions. Please be cosmetics only. Please be cosmetics only. 
Based on the slow rollout of 2K and EA's track record of online competition formats, you would have to imagine EA will have the edge or at very least cater to the bigger audience. If you are someone that longs for the old days of Tiger Woods games and the, and the casual arcade style, you may be in luck. EA brings back the extreme overpowers and mid-flight ball spinning, if that's something that piques your interest. Don't worry, golf truthers. Uh, this is a toggleable setting, so if you prefer a simulation game style like myself, EA appears to be making substantial efforts in that direction too. Added partnerships with ShotLink and TrackMan, 20 unique shot types, and sizable amounts of in-game metrics would indicate simulation gameplay is a primary focus. Add this in with their unique course environments and EA could challenge and even surpass 2K in the simulation gameplay. Before we get to the winner, it would help the channel out tremendously if you drop a like and if you feel inclined to subscribe to the channel as we chase down our 1000 sub goal. So who wins? EA re-entering the golf space after an eight year hiatus is certainly exciting, especially with their partnerships and next gen graphics. 2K on the other hand is already available and has endless amounts of courses thanks to their course designer mode and will be cross-play. Very rarely have we seen both developers create titles in the same sport simultaneously. Long story short, the gamers win. The competition for who will develop the best golf game will only push the envelope for further innovation between both titles and the gamers are the benefactors. We will continue to learn more and more in the coming months. I personally will be playing both titles and look forward to enjoying the ride. Comment below with what you will be playing or any other questions that you may have. Which one has lived?